Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Casey again, and I'm really excited today because as you can tell, I'm doing something a little bit different. I decided that instead of doing a makeup tutorial, I wanted to do a May favorites video because, I don't know, I just wanted to try something new. I have a ton of favorites from the month of May, and I just thought that I'd share them with you guys, so let's just get started. So my first favorite was the Pixie and It's Judy Time palette. It looks a little something like this if you haven't already seen it. I was super impressed with this. It was actually a spur of the moment purchase. I was just in Target and looking at the makeup as I usually do because I always get sucked in that black hole. And I saw this and I was like, wait, I have seen this online. And I was looking at it and I fell in love with the colors. It just like has a broad range of different warm tone colors. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. I was kind of nervous because I love drugstore makeup, but drugstore eyeshadows have just never worked for me. And then I tried this out and I was so impressed. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm actually wearing this on my lid and this in the crease. I am obsessed with this color. But just like this copper color, like you see the pigment? It's a little on the pricey side. Oh, did you see that highlight cheek popping? It's a little on the pricey side for drugstore. It was, I think, $26. But honestly, I just love it. I love the colors. For a drugstore product, this was on the top of my list for this moment. Next, this is definitely no surprise. I literally use this in every one of my videos, but it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I'm wearing this on my face right now. I wear it every day. It's just like exactly what it says. It's Pro Glow. Like It just goes on so nicely. It blends out like a dream. It's just perfect. I have pretty dry skin, so having like a nice glowy, like medium coverage foundation is just perfect for me. If you have dry skin, definitely check this out. It's amazing. Then, on to powder. So, once again, shout out to Rantos for introducing this to me. This is your last shout out, so don't get ahead of yourself. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Press Powder. This stuff is, uh, this is crazy. It is just a normal press powder, but I swear to God, Every other powder I've ever used, it just like is so cakey and like you see it on your skin. But for whatever reason, you just can't see this on your face. Like it is just so invisible on your face, but it like sets your makeup so well. I'm obsessed with this. It is so great. I, I just like, this is amazing. Next on my list is the Kylie highlighter. Now, I think it was Jaclyn Hill. She put this in a favorites video and she literally said, exactly how I feel about it. Pretty much what she said was she didn't like this at first, but then once she got through like the top layer of it and she like kept using it, she loved it. And that's literally exactly how I feel. I hated this at first. It just like wasn't doing the job because I love like a pop and highlighter. And then like, I just like kept trying it. And now I just, I, like, I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. It is more on the more conservative side, if that makes sense. It's not, like, popping in your face, but it's so cute. And if you, like, wet your brush and, like, build it up a lot, it just looks awesome. It looks natural. I love the color. It's so cute. Just, I'm a fan. And lastly, for makeup favorites is MAC Honey Love, which has been around the block, but I've never used it. Oh my god, I forgot to... I forgot to put, I'm just gonna pop this on real quick. As you can see, it's just a neutral color. I love it, it is just so simple, but it goes with pretty much everything. I always wear some sort of warm tone, neutral kind of thing, and bang. This just like always goes with everything I'm wearing. I love it, I vibe with it, and yeah, what's up? What's cracking? I was gonna throw the entire unicorn brushes set into this, but I'm just gonna put this exact brush in. This brush is bomb. It's just this thin contour brush. It just gets like this perfect nice line. Like as you can see like there, it looks like there's like a line there and I just love that. Just wanted to give that a quick shout out. Then I have two skincare things that I want to mention. I just bought this Clarins toning lotion which I don't know why it's called toning lotion because it's not a lotion as you can see it's a liquid. I don't know like I've never used a toner before but I love this. Pretty much I wake up use toner and then at night when I wash my face again I just use it again. It just like gets all the dirt off. I love using a cotton pad and just rubbing it all over my face and then seeing like all the stuff that I got off. And I also just like how it smells. I don't know. It says it has chamomile in it. I've been using it every day. I literally got this like last week and like and then my second and last skincare favorite is this Aveeno positively radiant intensive night cream oh, this stuff is amazing pretty much it's like 
Oh, it smells really good too. It's a lotion slash moisturizer kind of thing. And what I do is I exfoliate my face with like my Clarisonic. I do the toner and then I put this on and in the morning your face just feels so soft, so amazing, plumps it up like, oh, it's been making my skin just feel incredible. And that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you like that. I don't know how it's gonna go on my channel. I feel like it was really fun to talk to the camera. I never do that. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys like this video. Maybe I'll do more in the future every month. I don't know. We'll see. See. But yeah, if you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every week, and I'll see you guys in my next video.